Howdy gamers and welcome to another edition of Flashback Friday. My name is Patrick Hickey Jr. and this week out we will be playing Berserk on the Atari 2600. So, um, if this game looks simple, it's because on the surface, ah, it is, but simply, basically what you're doing, not simply or basically, what you are doing is escaping a room. You cannot touch the walls. And you cannot touch the robots. If you do, you're dead. And if you wait too long, then Evil Otto comes out. And then you're dead. So, if you're smart, you can get the robots to run into a wall. Or shoot themselves. See? So, ooh, I think Evil Auto was about to come out there. So you gotta be uber mit careful because if he comes out, then, uh. Ah! If he comes out, then it's, it's pretty much all over. Because he'll just, like, kind of run after you. <laughs> so. Ah! Two people actually died playing this game in the 80s. Ah! Because after a while, the game gets so frenetic. The robot's an asshole. Just keep, just keep shooting me. I would love to see this game remastered on like the iPhone or something like that just because the gameplay is so simple but it's so much fun to play and uh... it's aged pretty damn good ah! I wanna just keep playing for a while so you guys could see Otto and Otto is basically just a smiley face. He's just this little smiley face that runs after you. I could literally play this game for hours. Ah, oh, come on, he got me in the foot. Ah. Oh. Nah, bio. So that was it. 2300. It's just so funny when you think about it. How far we've come from a gameplay, a gameplay point of view. And how a game like this doesn't need any of... I mean, it doesn't need any kind of cool gameplay mechanic. Because, truth be told, it just works incredibly well. It just does exactly what it's supposed to do. And I think that a lot of new game creators could take something from Berserk and just say, what's the premise of my game? Why does it work? And if you don't have an answer to that question, then you don't necessarily have a game. Oh man. There you go. So everybody's dead. Ah! See, and that's like... That annoys me. That these guys could just like kinda... Pop up out of nowhere.
Booyaka. This is looks like a relatively easy level. And watch, I'm gonna die. So anyway, <laughs> there's not a lot going on on the screen because you're too busy like thinking throughout the entire thing. There's a lot going on in the fact that like your mind is racing. Ah. This is on a lot of lists for like Top Atari 2600 game. And for good reason. It just does. Ah! That's not right. Oh, I'm still in it. There you go. I am very surprised Evil Auto has not come out yet. Ah, forty one hundred. Ah, oh, come on, I moved out of the way. Still in it, baby. Oh, I touched the wall. Uh, so that's it, my friends. Berserk on Atari 2600. A game that you won't know why you love, but you'll love it regardless. So if you own an Atari 2600, it's definitely worth a go. Um, if you're into video game history and you want to know, wow, there was a game that like two people actually died playing, uh, had heart attacks. <laughs> <laughs> if they reach their high scores, um, yeah, this is definitely something worth checking out. So, go do it. <laughs>